Blinken says NATO countries have green light to send fighter jets to Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. Washington, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Sunday that NATO members have the go-ahead to send fighter jets to Ukraine as the U.S. and allies continue their efforts to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia's invasion. That gets a green light, Blinken said in an interview with Face the Nation when asked whether the Polish government, a member of NATO, could send fighter planes to Ukraine. In fact, we're talking with our Polish friends right now about what we might be able to do to backfill their needs if in fact they choose to provide these fighter jets to the Ukrainians. What can we do? How can we help to make sure that they get something to backfill the planes that they are handing over to the Ukrainians? A White House spokesperson told CBS News the Biden administration is working on the capabilities it could provide to backfill Poland if it decided to transfer planes to Ukraine but noted there are several questions that arise from a decision to do so, including how the jets could be transferred from Poland to Ukraine. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has sparked worldwide support for the Ukrainian people and a united response from the West. Asked whether the U.S. is working on a contingency plan to support the Ukrainian government should something happen to Zelensky, Blinken praised his leadership and indicated Ukrainian officials are prepared. The Secretary of State was steadfast that even if Russia's war in Ukraine continues for months, the Ukrainians will prevail. This post received a score of 95,000, with an up-vote ratio of 87%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Also, I think the way they transfer them to the Ukrainians instead of flying them from Poland into Ukraine, they will simply bring them to the border and allow them to be pulled to the Ukraine side. The US did this before I just can't remember what conflict they did that because they couldn't get involved directly. They did it with tanks. Before the US entry into WW2, the US Neutrality Act prevented the US from giving planes directly to Britain, so they left them near the Canadian border. Then the Canadians pulled them across. Relevant scene from Darkest Hour, 2017. What a shame, I accidentally left the keys in the visor. Oh dear. And now you know how Canada got its reputation as jet thieves. It's why their geese hate us so much. We clogged up their skies with our bullshit, giant flying metal birds with spinning noses of death. Hate is the only thing the Canadian goose has ever known. This guy gooses. A. Blinken? A. Blinken? Where? No I ain't say A. Blinken. I said hey B-L-I-N-K-E-N. Hold the reins man. This ain't exactly the Mississippi. Sorry, but a toll is a toll, and a roll is a roll and if we don't get no tolls then we don't eat no rolls. I made that up. Feats of strength. What we need is great strength of feet. A Jew, here, bless you. Sanctions and jets are an act of war, so was invading Ukraine. So was declaring war on Ukraine. Russia has still not officially declared war against Ukraine. They're still calling it a special operation. But as we all know by now, just because war isn't declared doesn't mean it isn't happening. See, the last 21 years in Libya, Syria, Afghanistan, Georgia, Hong Kong, Ukraine. IIRC The UK never declared war on Argentina. The Falklands War was technically a limited conflict, or some such euphemism. The title is a bit misleading. The idea is to donate older Polish fighter aircraft to the Ukrainian government, and replace these with newer U.S. aircraft. The U.S. Air Force is not going to send a 10 and B-52s to Ukraine however. Because they can't fly them. Ukraine needs planes it can fly right now, so doing this kind of swap makes sense. Apparently everyone can get in AF-35 and dominate the sky according to some comments. Brew, all you gotta do is remap some keybinds and it's like flying a sop with camel, not that hard. IKR, joystick for pitch roll yao, mouse 1 for primary weapon and mouse 2 for secondary weapon. Map throttle to WNS. Easy peasy. Doesn't sound easy, mouse plus keyboard plus joystick sounds like a pretty unique skill to have. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.